Hi guys, I just finished grading your your uh, free response assignment. You did, you guys did fairly well. Uh, I just wanted to point out a couple things. Uh, make sure that, like for answer one, that you not only uh, you not only you know identify what what it changes to, but like in the part C, what the actual change is. So what the loss is. Or what the gain is. So make sure you're as uh, detailed as you can in these answers because I, to be honest, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to grade these, but the more detail you can put in your answers, uh, you know, the more chance that you'll get a maximum points for each answer. And the other thing I wanted to point out is that I actually didn't, don't have a complete answer for number four. Uh, most of you got this uh, uh, correct, but in part B right here, it's asking why the marginal cost curve initially d uh, decreases and then increases. And my answer only says why it, uh, th this is actually wrong, so I, I made a mistake here. Uh, I'm not sure you guys uh, caught this. The uh, marginal cost curve initially goes down or de increases because of increasing marginal uh, returns or increasing marginal product and, and then it's going to it's going to the cost the marginal cost curve is going to increase because of eventual decreasing marginal returns or decreasing marginal products sorry about that uh, you guys should have known that. Though. Most of you got this uh, correct anyway. But if you, after your exam was uh, graded or, a, or after your assignment was uh, graded and you saw uh, this answer, I'm surprised you guys didn't send me an email and say, hey, well, why did, you know, this, this can't be right. Uh, anyway, so sometimes I make a uh, mistake. So sorry about that. Um, so you guys, so now the one that's due next Sunday uh, which I have right, which is right here. I want to remind everyone, well, first of all, I want you guys to try to do this before Sunday because I, I'm not going to always be able to extend this because you have things going on over the weekend. Just because it's due on Sunday doesn't mean you wait until Sunday to do it. Uh, I, would, uh, I would advise you to do it during the week uh, if you can. Make sure, though, that you, it's very important that you find a quiet place and do this assignment alone. I want you to really try to see what you know, not, not, not only f so I can know what you know, but you need to know what you know uh, without help. So you know exactly where you need to uh, focus your uh, preparation for the AP exam. Uh, okay, so the topics you're going to need to review for... This uh, second AP set of uh, free response questions is you're going to be you're going to be analyzing a monopoly a graph again, and uh, you're going to be uh, looking at a short run total cost function where you're going to get a, a table where you see the uh, the production and the cost total cost. So you so you're going to have to uh, de determine marginal cost from total cost, which I know you guys can easily do that, you're going to be looking at a supply and a demand graph and uh, looking at and analyzing marginal social cost, marginal private cost, and marginal social benefit. And you're going to look at a, a graph that shows a cellular phone industry, I'm not industry, firm. It's, it's going to show a firm in a cellular phone industry. So think about what type of uh, industry that would be if it's cellular, cellular phones. Uh, and just, you know, as a hint, sort of, just think about there's not, you know, there's only a really a few uh, companies that, that you can uh, use. I mean, think about Sprint, AT&T, uh, T-Mobile, and there might be one more that I don't even, that I'm not sure about. There's not a whole lot. Okay. So then, the, and then the last one, the, uh, number five, is you're going to be analyzing a payoff matrix. So make sure you review uh, how a payoff uh, matrix works.
Okay, so that's going to be your second AP free response uh, set of five uh, questions. Good luck.